some uh, fish in there that we're gonna try and uh, rescue and uh, maybe treat and put it in our tanks. I've already been playing in this for a little bit. What we have here is a is an Oscar. That's splashing it with mud. Just a few little tilapia babies this looks like a Mayan sickle baby <sighs> got me right in the eye It's a tilapia. That's a tilapia too. It's a hopelo catfish. I think that's pretty much it from this. There's a bunch of smaller stuff here. I'm not gonna bother with the small stuff. We were just taking a walk this morning and we saw a larger fish struggling in the mud. This mud hole has been here for for quite some time. At least a couple of weeks. And I've never seen any movement in it until this morning.
Okay, we're gonna go and tie and, and and tidy them up, clean them up, and see what they are better, and maybe treat them and put them in the quarantine tank. Little gator has taken interest in what we're doing. He heard the splashes and he came over to to check it out. Anyhow, I'm washing the fish, putting them in the cleaner in the cleaner in the cleaner water. Hoplo. That's a Mayan. Mayan cichlid baby. Tilapia babies. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're ready to transfer them into the quarantine tank, which is which already contains uh, potassium permanganate for the first bath of the treatment against parasites, bacteria, and whatnot. Everything external should should be killed off on them, and hopefully they will survive the bath. guys big guy. There is a lot of fer feral Oscar in, in Florida. That's what 
it looks like they're almost in every puddle so here they are our first bath the end of the first round of the potassium permanganate treatment the little guys are doing okay Tilapia can breathe some air, but the Oscar seems to be struggling greatly. I don't think he's gonna make it. He was uh, probably too damaged in the in the mud pond, in the in the mud puddle. Well, this is after three treatments with, with potassium permanganate. They look very clean. I don't see any any defects on them. And I'm gonna shoot them up underwater so you can see it for yourself as well. I don't know how well you can see the poplo. I'll try to get it underwater. That will conclude our time-lapse video for the treatment of the uh, Oscar that we lost. The Oscar probably spent two weeks in that uh, mud uh, mud hole, so it was very weak. So it was a long shot trying to save it. And then uh, these five tilapia, and what I, what I believe is a, well, the colorful is the colorful one is the Mayan cichlid, but I can't be sure what he is.